In April 2022, almost half a million pounds of local council, NHS and national funding was awarded to 75 local projects as part of our Community Innovation Grants Programme. We wanted to fund a real mix of local projects led by communities themselves. Through this programme, we reached people and families across the borough with a focus on those from underrepresented groups at risk of health inequalities and poorer health. There's a lot of people that feel that they're, they're coming from a position of hopelessness. There's a lot of people out there that believe, you know, that they're, they're segregated. Um, and I think that um, because they could access the program, you know, it, it sort of gave them, you know, that, that form of hope, that knowing that there is a service that they can access, there is a program that they can access, you know, there is help they can get from, from a GP, there is, their voice can be heard. And it's an empowerment program. It's a program to make people feel valued, you know, that you know, their life is worth living um, and they can be who they want to be. And so this is, for me, that's the highlight of it all, you know, getting people to understand that, you know, there are people out there that care. You know, it's not just the signposting, it's, it's how you can help them through that journey along the way. Our main group, which is REACH, which, reach, uh, which is on a Monday night, which is for adults with learning differences from 18 to 25. And it's a beautiful community group where they come to perform and to make friends and to kind of you know, overcome so, uh, social isolation. Um, we have uh, anywhere between 25 to 30 regular users that come to that group. And then with Dramatic Voices, with the carers, that group can reach up to 50, sometimes 60 participants a week. Um, and then also with Tramtastic, the club nights have been quite varied, but at times anywhere between 60 to 100 uh, people, adults learn differences in the building. It's a family, it's a support network for those young people. Um, and without it, a lot of them would lose so much um, support and wouldn't be able to socialise anywhere near as much as they do without the group. Our group is very diverse and I think that's our strength actually. It's actually been really great to see some of the younger carers learning from the wisdom and the tenacity of the older carers, but it's also been great to have a, 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 an environment where an older carer who's probably quite isolated is coming into contact with the younger carer and, and uh, learning about new processes, new services, and just getting a shot in the arm really of optimism, which is what I think we all need. Um, it doesn't matter who you are, we've got that special thing in common, we're looking after someone with special needs. And I think everybody really appreciates it, we really care about each other, the connections we've made are really fantastic. Through reaching out and listening to communities, the projects identified that things like social isolation, poor mental health and accessing services are real challenges and by working together, they have tackled these problems and built assets and connections that will last. This way of working builds on our history of community engagement and neighbourhood work in Royal Borough of Greenwich and is also aligned with our Greenwich corporate plan. As a council, the learning from the innovative approach this programme took will support our continuing work with our local communities.